This video is going to be an introduction to disjoint sets or union find algorithm. So in this we will just see an introduction of uh, this data structure and the algorithm and later we will uh, see different implementations. So we will start with the naive implementation and then further we will optimize. So first let's see what is a disjoint set or union find algorithm. So first of all we need to understand this data structure disjoint set. So this disjoint set data structure is used to keep track of elements that are partitioned in non-overlapping. Non-overlapping means the sets which do not overlap. That is these are disjoint. So this is set 1, set 2. So these are disjoint. So disjoint sets will be used here. And then it performs two major operations. So the first operation is union as the name says union. So union of two elements x and y in that we don't simply combine the elements but we find which set they belong to. So maybe there is some set where one of the elements is x. There are more elements but one of the elements is x. There is another set and there is no overlap. These are disjoint sets and one of the elements in that set is y and there are many more elements in that other set. So first we need to find what is which set x belongs to. So for each set we will have one representative or a leader. So one of the elements will be the leader element or the uh, parent node if you represent this in the form of a tree. So, we uh, so that element will be representative of the entire set. So first we find that element. Similarly we find the representative of the set from which the element y belongs. It may be possible that y is in the same set. In that case there is no need to do anything. It's already united. But if they are in some different set then we will combine these two sets. So now these two sets will become single set. All the elements of set S1 where x belonged and all the elements of set S2 where y belonged. We will combine all of these into one set and one of these leaders will be the leader of the entire set. So this was the first operation. The second operation is find as the name says. So here find x means simply find which set element x belongs to. So by which set we will be finding the representative of that set. So these are the two operations on which this algorithm is based. Now let's see an example then it will be more clear. So let's say initially we have seven elements and these are set in themselves. So each set has just one element. So if we have to pick a leader or we can denote them by some data structure in our code, let's call them parent. So its size will be same as the number of elements, let's say n. So we will be keeping track of the parent of each element. So initially all the seven sets are disjoint, nothing is common, all the elements are distinct. So they are themselves forming a set and each set has just one element. So the parent for each set is the element themselves. So in this case, the parent will be one, two, three, the same elements. So now let's perform some operations. So if we do find of one here, it should return one. One is the parent of itself or we can write it like this. So in general, uh, let's say at some point of time, we have three elements in a set. So we will write arrow like this, like the parent of this element is this one. And let's say there is another element here, A, B, C, D. So the parent of B is A, parent of C is also A, parent of D is C. So uh, now uh, let's perform some operations. Let's say we want to perform these operations. So union 1 and 2. So what we will do? So 1 and 2 are currently different but we will. So let's uh, go with some naive uh, algorithm where the first element, the set in which the first element belongs, that will be the uh, representative of the entire combined set. So in this case union 1, 2, then we will make 1 as the 
parent of 2 so now 1 and 2 are in one set and all the other elements 3 4 5 6 7 they remain as it is now the second operation is union of 5 and 6 so what we will do we will make 5 as the parent of 6 now these two are in another set so initially we started with 7 sets now we have 1 2 3 4 and 5 sets so these two operations we are done next is union of 6 and 7 so now uh, it's like this so 5 and then 6 and then 7 is lying here so we can make 6 as the parent of 7 or we can make 5 as the parent of 7 so any algorithm is fine we are not going into the uh, optimization currently so let's say this is the state so now we have four sets so now 5 6 7 are in one set so let's redraw it so 1 is the parent of 2 3 and 4 are lying here and 5 is the parent of 6 and 7 and now let's see the next operation these are done next is union of 2 and 3 so 2 is here 3 is here so we can attach 3 here to the parent of 2 next is union of 4 5 so we can make 4 as the parent of 5 so we are picking just a random naive algorithm where the first element is always the for the set belonging to the first element is made the parent of the second one so now we have just two sets so let's redraw it again one two three and then we have four and five and six and seven are children of five so now we have just two sets and the last operation is union of two and six so two first we will find where two belongs if we do union of two and three at this point it will not do anything these are already in the same set but here it's union of two and six so we can make two as the parent of six so we can write it like 1, 2 or uh, we can make 4 as the parent of, uh, sorry, 2 as the parent of 4. We will not change this. So 1, 2, 3, let's redraw it. 1, 2, 3 and then 4 and 5 then 6 and 7 so this is the result of all those operations so you see that when we do find uh, we can go all the way up and it may take o of n time so this is not good actually the goal is that ultimately after we optimize our approach we should be able to do this find in roughly O of one time and similarly union should be done in O of one time but in this case how much time find is taking it can take up to O of n time since it may form a long chain so we will see how we can optimize this similarly union here union in union also we need to first do the find so union x y we need to find the set for x so find operation is involved here so this will also take o of n time in this case so i hope you understood uh, this union and find operations in uh, this disjoint set or union find algorithm next we will start with naive implementation and then optimized implementations